Now to sad news. No one ever plans to go through or witness a traumatic event. And when time passes after such an event, one may think that their mind and body has healed. But as Dr. Masikare reports, this may not be the case for everyone. Memories of a traumatic period may still linger on years after such a period. Health Digest remembers the survivors of the 1998 bomb blast and whether time has healed their wounds. We would like to warn our viewers that images in this story might be graphic and disturbing. This memorial park is an important site to some Kenyans, especially those that survived one of Kenya's darkest days. This is a sanctuary of peace, a sanctuary of love, a sanctuary of unity. I went with my son. I took him there and he, he, he refused to watch those things. Completely he said no. So what was our office is now a museum because it's that plot. What was the American embassy now is that park but with the names inscribed of those 10 colleagues. But sometimes when you, you doubt this thing, did it, when you go and read somebody's name inscribed, then, then you remember. It is a reminder of a day when 224 people lost their lives at the Nairobi U.S. Embassy bombing 20 years ago, an attack that the Al-Qaeda terror group claimed responsibility. I witnessed an altercation between the occupants of the truck and the security personnel from the embassy site. And then I heard what I thought were gunshots. I left my cubicle and was headed towards the door. The door facing uh, NHC house. So when I got to the door is when the actual blast, proper blast now happened. And with that, I was flung out. Douglas and Abraham are two of the over 5,000 Kenyans that were scarred since that day. They carry with them daily reminders of that heinous act. From that day, I have never witnessed light of day again. I became blind. It was one of the loudest things I've ever had, maybe probably the loudest. So normally it would have that part, and then now you have even claustrophobia issues. You don't want to be in a place where you cannot see an exit. I mean, that, that's with me up to today. If I go to a place, the first thing I want to know is how I would get out if anything happened. Some people with time and support may handle well memories of such a trauma. However, there is another group of people who may suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. They suffer recurrent distressing memories of such a traumatic event or even some avoid thinking or even talking about such an event. And Rose was inside there. Journalists at the front line and who witness these events are not immune to the aftermath of this trauma. These things affect journalists <laughs> much later. And uh, you see things at The near-death experience or witnessing such tragic scenes may have an effect on one's emotions, cause mood swings, disturb sleep, or even cause nightmares and flashbacks to that traumatic event. They come back to us after years. When I see people dead, I know what that feels like because their colleagues are feeling the grief, their family. So it, I think it is the whole episode being played over and over and over. Getting the right help, which may include talk therapy, may help you better handle fears from a traumatic period and you can regain control of your life. Dr. Masi Korir for Health Digest, Kitchen News.